bit more of a, a walk around of MWC Shanghai. So we're just walking down past the Huawei booth here. Now Huawei don't really have anything new to talk about, so we'll just go in and have a wee look. So we've got the G9 here, which is their mid-range handset. Um, very, very similar design to the P9. And then across there we've got the P9 Plus, which we've already covered to some great extent, so we won't go into that. The Mate 8, which is a very, very nice handset, um, coming in at 6-inch size and with their Kirin 950 processor. Um, that's a quick look at the specs there. And then across here we've got the, the new MediaPad M2. And there we can see the Matebook, which we covered in great detail at MWC from Barcelona. So we'll just move on from the Huawei stand. And we can see here some more telecom providers and MediaTek. Now these are the guys that make quite a lot of the chipsets in the Chinese imported phones. Uh, so they obviously have a massive presence here in China. They also do chipsets for smartwatches and various other IoT devices. Just going to have we wander past SanDisk here. Now SanDisk did have something to announce today and we're going to try and have a little look closer at that later on. But they did announce that they are now selling a 256 gigabyte micro SD and also a 256 gigabyte micro SD US, UHS-1. Now the differences between these two devices are the UHS-1 does have a faster read-write speed over the, uh, the Ultra. Now these things are absolutely tiny so I'm going to try and get in as close as I can there. But these are now available at a fairly decent price um, from SanDisk Direct. I believe the price was 129 for the standard one and the UHS one was a little bit pricier at 169 But as you can see here they're showing them off in this lovely fish tank to show that they are waterproof. X-ray proof, I don't know why you would ever want to know that, but they're also magnet proof as well. And last but not least, ice proof or temperature proof. So that's just a quick look at SanDisk. And another name we're familiar with back in the UK is Nokia. So Nokia are here really to talk about their network infrastructure, but they're also talking about a new device that they brought out. Don't worry, it's not a phone before you get too excited. But they're also talking about this new service that they are offering called Ozo. Now Ozo is a 360 degree camera that is on supercharge. It also supports 360 degree audio. Most recently used um, at a concert by Calvin Harris where he was able to live stream his gig to a worldwide audience in glorious HD resolution. So that's just a little quick look at Nokia there. I'm just going to carry on through. See what else we can find. So I think we're now getting towards the end of Hall 1. And uh, we've got Hewlett Packard Enterprise there. There's not really much of interest to us over there. And a networking lounge where all the big wigs can go and find, meet up with each other. And a Cisco stand. So I'm now going to make my way over to um, Hall 4, which is, I believe, where they are... Sorry, Hall 7, which I believe is where they're offering some VR gaming experiences, but also um, where we have a flip phone from a company called Gioni. So, I will join you.